It's an elephant. That's your favorite. It's so cute. <laughs> Adulthood. Mm-hmm. I can do anything. Yeah. I could vote. Yeah. Win the lottery. You could. Buy fireworks. It's liberating, isn't it? What are you going to do first? I'm going to eat cake. Yeah, probably should. Put it out of its misery. What do you think? Hmm. Perfectly sweet. Mm hmm. Nice and gray. What's that? Come here. Come on. Oh, you have something you want to ask me? Will you? Will I what? Marry me. Marry you? Hmm. Sure. Let's go. Well, oh, I'm in my pajamas. Well, I got clothes in the car. Okay. There's no way in hell. So the goal was to incorporate all your favorite things. Elephant slice cake, which I baked from scratch, and pancakes for dinner, because that's your favorite. And you know how you told me that you wanted people to wear costumes to your funeral instead of dressing in black? Well, I thought we could apply that to our wedding as well, in case I die first. Cute. So this is like a joint wedding and birthday party. Yeah. But in all seriousness, we're fucking adults now. And I know that I want to spend the rest of my adult life being an adult with you. And you guys, too, yes. Nice save. You can't steal away from me that easy. I don't know, Ellie. That was romantic as fuck. Will you give me away tonight? As you wish. And what can I do? You get to be the flower girl. No fucking way. That's dope. <laughs> All your favorite people celebrating you and us. Dude, these are raw. Okay, well, I'm the wedding photographer. I never said I knew how to make pancakes. I think that they're great. You're a wonderful chef, Pete. Thank you. Someone wouldn't let me make my signature brownies, so I had to improvise. Well, they didn't really fit the theme. <laughs> so I just had him put weed in the pancakes instead. <laughs> you fucking genius. I'll get it. Katya. What? You look hot. I brought wine. Not the cheap kind either. Brad and I broke up and I stole this from his house. And because I don't drink alone, that's kind of pathetic. I decided to come to this party. Am I early? I thought it was clear that we were exclusive. I mean, I went to all of his swim meets and he held my hand twice. So I told him, you know, if you want to dance with your $2 whores all night, then have fun. I'm gone. Katya, that guy's an idiot. You're a $50 whore at least. Gosh, men are just so oblivious. Speaking of, Kendall, a word? So, Katya, do you like dogs? What do you think you're doing? What? Inviting your ex-girlfriend, are you insane? She invited herself, she always does. And Katia was never my girlfriend. We 
hooked up for like a month. How do you think that makes Macy feel? It was ages ago. Macy doesn't care. Katya will ruin this party. Maybe for you. What? No. I know you and Katya. Katya have very different personalities and values, I guess you could say, but don't let her scare you. You're the one who should be scared because she only came here because Brad dumped her and she's looking for a <sighs> rebound and that's you. Ellie, I'm flattered, really, but it, it's not that big of a deal, okay? Plus, she brought wine. And as you know, I have no problem kissing a dog on the lips. But a little bit of fur got in my eye, and my brother, he came over with food. My dog turned around, and I ended up kissing her directly on the anus. All right, bachelor party time. A bachelor party? Hell yes! Oh yeah? Where's the stripper? Uh, <laughs> screw you. I could so be a stripper if I wanted to. You know what, Katya? You're absolutely right. No, there's no stripper. I never planned for a bachelor party. I planned it. Because you're the bachelor, and there's also a bachelorette party. Surprise! But it's almost time for- No buts. You go. Have fun with the boys. Don't get too rowdy, and we're gonna go paint our nails and gossip. Sound good? I don't. <laughs> Great. Let's go, ladies. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Because Kendall's ruining your party. No, he's not. He kind of is. It's depressing and it smells like mildew in there. You know, no one's forcing you to be here. I made myself hot for this, so I'm not gonna waste my Friday night. Here, this counts as a birthday gift or wedding gift, whatever this function is. I guess some people really have eclectic style. My wedding will be very traditional. Thanks, my stomach is kind of weird. Mm, innocent. <laughs> Lightweight. I am not. Oh, really? Like that devil costume isn't compensating for something? I won't waste my time at this lame party if you're just gonna bitch at me all night, Ellie. Okay, do you wanna leave? Okay, give me that. <laughs> ah, another one? <coughs> yeah. Hey, now, Shane, I think that Kendall would rather remember his wedding day. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Live a little, relax. That is a great idea. Let us relax. <laughs> Okay, okay. apparently, when you play jazz music for plants, it makes them grow faster. Do you guys wanna to listen to some jazz music? Sure, man. <laughs> My doctor says that we should apply this to our own lives and listen to jazz music help us grow. You know what I'm saying? You know what, man? I fuck with that. Yeah. Yeah, it helps, you know, you keep, keep out intrusive thoughts or um, substance abuse problems. I'm thinking about quitting smoking weed and just listening to Jen. No oh, shit. No oh, shit. Uh, finally, some music. Can I get the ox? I'm sorry, Katya. They're growing at the moment. That's gross. Are you sure you're okay with this? Yeah. I mean, it's not like you like her or anything. I think we can all agree that Macy is incredible. She's smart and beautiful and funny as hell and it blows my mind. She can do anything. She can choose to do anything and then she chose to do me. <laughs> she chose to do you? Yeah, she chose to do me and I feel like the luckiest guy on the planet. And I'm really lucky she couldn't choose to do state instead of doing me because I don't know where I would be without you, Macy. I don't know what I would be doing if I didn't have you doing me. So. Let's toast to that. You got rejected from state? Waitlisted. I thought you, uh, I guess that was yet to be made public. Macy, I had no idea. Wasn't that like your life's plan? Shit, dude. Are you crying? No, I'm not crying. I'm not even that sad about it so you guys don't have to feel sorry for me or anything. Let's just step. Uh, Let's just move on. Honestly, Macy, it's their loss. What I said about you is, is true, and if they don't want any of that, then screw them. Macy, do you want to talk? No. We can talk. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to talk. Do you want to sing? Do you want to do the song? Let's do the song. Come on, guys. We're going to start off tonight's set with the song. Macy, your vocals. 
Uh, the rest of you, thanks for coming out to the show tonight. I'm Kendall, and behind me I have Pete on the drums and uh, Shane. And where are the lawnmowers? Wait a minute. What happened to the stone babies? I changed it back. What? Why? It wasn't family friendly, okay? Since when do you Singing the song tonight is my lovely soon-to-be wife, Macy. Please make her feel welcome. Here she is. That's your cue, sweetheart. I'm not warmed up. Doesn't matter. Come on, babe. Maybe later. Pete, give me a countdown. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's your part. You love it. I'm the most vocally talented person here, so I should be the main singer, right? Katya, you're already obnoxious without an amplifier. And you're just jealous of my naturally good voice projection. Macy! 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 Shane, you're off. Dude, you never take this seriously. He's always walking oh. around like this. Shane! Wait, can you hold this for just a second? Shane! <laughs> <coughs> I think we just got our album cover. Let me deal with this. You can't handle your alcohol. <coughs> You're a shit wedding photographer and... Don't even get me started on you. I should not have said it about State, man. She probably fucking hates me now. All right, don't talk like that. Am I gonna lose her? I, I can't lose her. Seriously, dude, you gotta relax, okay? You can't start crying or anything. That freaks me out, you know? It freaks me out when people cry. Yeah, right. Sorry, dude. Uh, I'm just an idiot, you know? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. All right, look, if you would just relax, things would be going a lot better here. You know, you don't have to freak yourself out about trying to impress her. She's already crazy about you. How can I be sure, Pete? Head ass. <sighs> can you help me understand why I'm always the one cleaning up vomit at these things? They're actual infants, I swear. Not you. Um, you're a functioning adult as of two hours ago. Why didn't you tell me, Mace? I don't know. You know, I would never judge your character over something stupid like that. Yeah, I know. It's just... It's embarrassing. You know, everyone expected me to get in, myself included. And so when it didn't happen, I was too embarrassed to say anything. But you told Kendall? You know he's a loose cannon sometimes. It was impulse, I guess. He was the first person that came to mind and I wasn't thinking straight. I wish I never told anyone. It's not your fault. Kendall screwed up. But he's kind of a hot mess, so you can't really blame him for it. But for the record, no matter how shit-faced, I was. I could never let something like that slip. You have a right to be mad. I don't think I want to be mad. I mean, it's my birthday for fuck's sake. And also, apparently, my wedding. I'm okay. Just, um, promise me something. You won't let him make this day all about him. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Okay?
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the joining of Macy and Kendall in holy matrimony. Today, they seal their deeply contemplated decision to unite for now and forever. If any witness has any reason to believe that these two should not be wed, speak now or... Speak now or forever hold your peace. I invite you to declare your vows. Macy, you first. Oh, okay. Kendall, um, you are the best boyfriend that I've ever had. Only, only boyfriend I've ever had. Um, but you are thoughtful and kind-hearted and supportive. You've always been supportive of me and my dreams. And I love you. And. <clears throat> uh, I just wanna quickly say that this is the best night of my life. Seeing you standing here in this stunning t-shirt reeking of vomit, Reminds me that I would be nothing without you, Mace. And I would love to stay in this moment forever, but I can't stop time, so spending the rest of my moments with you is the next best thing, I guess. I love you more than anything, and every day I think about how lucky I am to have you by my side. The end. God, I hate myself. Ditto. Oh my God, can we hurry this thing up? I need to pee, and I'm not gonna go in the plant. Uh, Macy, do you take Kendall to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to love him, tend to his needs, provide solace in difficulty, in sickness and in health, so long as you both shall live? I do. Kendall, do you take Macy to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to love her, tend to her needs? Oh my God. I do. Okay, now we may commence with the exchanging of the rings. What's that? I couldn't skimp on the ring, Mace. Give me your hand. What the hell is that? It's a diamond, see? Don't you like diamonds? Kendall, it's real. Of course it's real. A real diamond for a real wedding. Okay, okay. Enough with the jokes, Kendall. What made you think this was a joke? I don't know, maybe because you proposed to me with this? It was quirky, I know you like that. Okay. Oh my God, this has got to be the longest wedding ceremony ever. Pete? Uh, by the power vested in me. Kendall, can you please tell me that we're not actually legally getting married? By the church and the state. Actually and legally, yes, Pico ordained. I now pronounce you husband and wife. What? I need to sit down. Oh, come on. Lawfully wedded before God. Pete, I need to sit down. You may now kiss the bed. Am I in hell? No, that's it. <sighs> All right, I guess I'm gonna go check on Macy, make sure she doesn't yank in my bed. Oh, my parents are gonna fucking kill me. Can you stop looking so emo? It's kind of bothering me. Can you stop being so insensitive? You know what? Yes. Yes, I, I can actually. It's 
quite a fall you had back there. That wasn't a horrible nightmare. That actually happened. This is actually happening. You know, fairness may see uh, all realities are facade, objectively. Who are you? Why do you hate me? <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, Kendall. You don't think I'm good enough for her? I don't think anyone's good enough for her. Sometimes I don't even feel like I amount to her standards most of the time. Never thought I'd hear you say that. I'm trying to be sensitive. <laughs> Kendall hired me for entertainment, but uh, you don't seem very entertained. More stressed. <laughs> yeah, dude, I am fucking wired. <laughs> Honestly. I... Nothing could have prepared me for the stunt that he pulled tonight. Nothing. You know, I am all for being spontaneous, but that, that was just too much. Stimulus overload? That reaction is natural. Look inside of yourself. Breathe. What triggered this emotion? Was I wrong for this? Missy told me that she wanted to get married on the beach in a white dress her mom's dress, and she wants to have three kids. She already has all their names picked out for them, and she wants to raise them in the city. She may play this free spirit part really well, but she can't commit to that. That's not her. Kendall, this isn't her. Who is she then? Tell me. If you really know her better than I do. A perfectionist? Kendall's not perfect. You know, he knows it, I know it. But when he, when he feels the need to compensate like this, it's, it's stifling. And everything erupts into chaos. He has a breakdown, then I have a breakdown over him having a breakdown. God. Am I a horrible person? Mortal? Yes. Emotionally drained? Yes. Horrible person? No. She's anxious, sensitive. A bunch of things that, that she's hidden from you for some reason. Sensitive in a bad way. I'm indecisive. Can't stand up for myself. Is that it? You kind of know what's perfect. Macy's, Macy's not perfect. And you know what, it was impulsive of you to try and marry her like this. You need to think before you do something like that. To be truly content, you must know your deepest desires and then act on them. Kendall, you need to slow down, take a step back. Tell me, Macy. And see things from a different perspective. Do you want to be with Kendall? I do. Yeah, I do. He's not perfect. Kendall, you should know that. I, I don't hate you. I love him. You should know a lot of things. What the fuck? No, what do you mean? You just tried to kiss me. You should get that. I got in. I'm off the wait list. I got in. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have to. Go to him. Ellie just tried to kiss me. No, I didn't. Oh, shit. Yeah? What? <laughs> she just tried to kiss him. Kendall, 
I have news. Oh my gosh, I did not see that coming. Kind of a strange move. So, she might have a slight concussion. Not sure. Uh, but she wanted Kendall. Had something important she wanted to tell him. I don't know. That's good, right? <laughs> she got in. She got in what? College! She's not the way that she got to go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, <laughs> Macy! Oh, congrats! Macy, I knew it turned out. That's awesome. Uh, Macy, that's so amazing. I was just wondering what your SAT score was because I made a 1490 on my SAT. Oh, and also, Ellie tried to kiss your boyfriend. Kendall, I want a divorce. Yeah, me too. It's over. That means I'm divorcing you too. Shane, get bit. in, dude. Uh, oh, I, I definitely am a little bit toasted. Okay, why well, are you holding on? Um, are you gonna, am I gonna kill you? Here? I'm like both. <laughs> 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 that's how. That's how I'm I'm a a wait, 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 the pink, the, the one that you hired for the party. I never hired The guy in the costume? No. Nope. <laughs> I fucking swear. No, he was at the altar. Okay, you guys, she might have a moderate concussion. How would you feel about spending your honeymoon at the hospital? No, he was at mm -hmm. the hospital. Uh, he, was, he was? No, he was at the altar. Yeah, we got a <laughs> he was at the altar and he gave me life altering advice. Oh, yeah? Really? Yes. Wow. Macy, you know what? I think you saw God. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a fucking elephant guy. All right. We'll see. <laughs> We're gonna oh, go we, eat him. We slipped some stuff in the drink, so... <laughs> what? <laughs> that, was, that might explain That's not what this It's is called about. Pink Elephant. You sure you're not coming to the airport? I could have a whole extra hour. Your parents could drive you back. You are just trying to put off saying goodbye. Sucks. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do this. See, I want to do this. I want to do it so I can see you go off and do so many more cool things. That's what I want. It's going to be great. I've told you a bunch of times, but it is. And I'm going to be here when things aren't great, too. Okay? Yeah. You'll be here, too. I'm not here, but... I'll be there. I'll call you when I land. As long as my plane doesn't crash or get sucked into a black hole or something. Yeah. I hope that doesn't happen. I hope the sun doesn't explode and that one day we run into each other like 14 years from now. The playground in mall food court. So we're both independent at that point. We have no one to tell us that we can't be in this playground. And it just so happens to be the same one on the same day. And then we rekindle our relationship and get married for real. On the beach next time. Too much sand. We should have a ceremony at the mall food court instead. We can work on the details later.